So hello everyone, my name is Niu Lei. I'm in the third semester in Master of Project Management at the Sydney Uni now. So today I'm going to give you a short video about the weak force reading in this subject. About the cases, it has four cases, but we only focus on three cases. First, I will give you an overview of the readings. And then I will show some current research because the reading was published in 2007. Many things different happens after that until now. So I have given some basic research what happens now for the three companies. And then some to some conclusions of my own. And I will discuss some open questions with my opinion and have you discuss with you in the class time if you want. So the case is first one is Nokia. I think most of us used it like between five and ten years ago. Actually, it only built in 1865 with a small wood pulp mill into a really big leading technology firm in 2007. It was the case published. That that was pretty successful for them. They conclude that the success of the company because they have the management of challenges under the organization structure or the management level are quite support their employee to be more creative or innovative in their companies. They know how to have, uh, build new things, big department. The second one is Doomport. There's a chemical company based on US, but actually across the world, world now. The reason we talk about this case is because he really good at use external technologies or external innovations to help their own company to grow up and find a way with something new to build on. It was actually become the first largest chemical company. Mm, last year, based on the marketing, market capitalization. Like for the 100 years or 200 years of growth, this company bought a lot of other companies or technologies. Of course, it has some dis disadvantages if you want to use technology outside. The main thing is when they merge with the other companies, they have a really good procedures steps to integrate the two companies together, that's quite important for the future project if they want to work on something. So the last one is the Microsoft. I think everyone know him, know this company. I, the re main reason to talk about this company is because I will call that self-innovation. It, it doesn't like the other companies, they have competitors in the market. Microsoft is always kind of compact themselves. They published a good Microsoft system in 1975, Microsoft Basic, and then a few years later, Microsoft DOS, and then Windows, you know, five years later, Windows 2.0, 3.0, until like last year, Windows 10.0. That's quite substantial move for them. If you want to get more things more, much better, even this already works, that's why I make the company going always. So what's the situation now? Nokia is falling sales from 2011 and almost bankrupt in 2013. Then it sells the device by, uh, by cell phone department to Microsoft and only focus on Nokia networks now. The don't put as their own strategy always. They tried to merge, they launched the end of last year, December, uh, December 2015, to merge with the chemical companies. I think this is the largest merge they ever have because they are going to change their names. I don't know if they have, have maybe 100% sure, but I think it's going to be success because they are, that's their strategies. And then Microsoft is always self innovation. They are not. Yep, they are kind of going to build more devices, not only for service. So they, they bought the Nokia 
Microsoft Surface is the one thing they are working on now. So I draw a couple of conclusions. First, you can see longer years of company can accumulate more, much more experience will help them success in the market. Well, my answer is no. Microsoft is the youngest, with only about 30, 40 years, but it kind of the most successful now. And the other one is, do you think external innovation technologies or internal innovation technologies is more important? Well, I will say they support each other. Because the external is really quick, convenient, but you need to know how to support your own projects. And the next one is, do you think Microsoft is going to lose their market soon? In the next few years? Uh, I believe no, because Microsoft is always creating some new, something new in the market. Even they are that's not like Nokia. They only want to use their own technologies. They believe they are the best. But Microsoft uh, always creating new innovation. So they kind of can s stay in the market for a longer time if they keep this strategy. Yes, thank you. I'm happy to discuss more with these three cases if you want during the class time. Thank you. See you in the class.